Hello everyone, welcome to the first beginner's tutorial for the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. So our first lesson today will be on the daisy cross. Now the daisy cross is the first step to solving the Rubik's Cube and it's really simple. So we will cover this in this video. By now you have learned with our executives on a live demonstration, but if you need more help, this video is always here. Okay, now we have a scrambled cube. There's no pattern on this cube. Before we begin, we have to clarify what pieces are what. Pieces that are in the middle of the cube are known as edge pieces. These are all edge pieces. The ones in the corner are just corner pieces. Right? These are edge pieces. These are corner pieces. And finally, we have the very simple centers. These are all centers, they're always located in the middle of the cube, not too complicated. So when we first start, our goal is to create a daisy cross. Now, what is a daisy cross? We have to get all of our white edge pieces all around the cube to surround the yellow center piece. So what might that look like? Well, there. to be honest, there is no proper algorithm or set of moves that get you to this. You just have to practice it, but it's really not hard. All you're looking for is to try to get this white piece right next to your yellow center. So any white edge piece, there should only be four on the cube. So one here, one here, one here, and one here. We just want to get them all around the yellow center. So we start, oh, so this white piece is right here, so I can just move this down. And now it's surrounding the yellow piece. Now I have this piece right here. This is a bit of a tough one, but all I have to do is just move it to the side and then move it down. Not too complicated. It's pretty intuitive. You just have to get used to moving the cube around and then you'll be uh, on your way to solving the cube. So now I have another one here. Now, how do I move this down without messing up these two pieces? Because I like how they're right here. They're right. They're surrounding the yellow center. So. All I really have to do is just move these two pieces to the side. Now they're like this, and the white piece is able to just go down. Just like that. Now I have three white edge pieces surrounding the yellow center. I just need one more. Now this one, again, all I have to do, I don't want to mess up any of these ones, so I just have to move them over and then put this one down. And that is our daisy. Now. This is the first step to solving your cross, which is the major, major part of solving a 3x3 Rubik's Cube, and all advanced cubers must know. Now that we have our yellow centerpiece and four white edge pieces surrounding it, our goal is to move them all down to surround the white centerpiece. The problem is, we need all of our white edge pieces to be corresponded to the right color. As you can see here, I have blue and blue connected properly. That's good. But here, I have red and orange. These don't match. We want our white edge pieces and their all other color to match with the right center piece. This is an example, white and blue. White edge piece, blue color, match with its blue center piece. Now, how do we move these white edge pieces down to form a white cross while having their center pieces matched up. This is fairly simple. We keep our white daisy on top, always on top. Then we rotate the bottom two layers of our cube. We just move these around. You can move it this way, this way, it doesn't matter. But once you see a color, a center piece that matches correctly with your white edge piece, then you're ready to move on. These colors now match, which means I can just, daisy on top, I can just move it down. Just this face. And look at that. Starting to form the cross with the two colors matched up. Now, I can keep on moving the cube. Now I have another white edge piece to move down. Now I just have to find the right color. There you go, green and green. Now all I have to do is just move it down. Just this front face. Move it down. And now I have two pieces. These colors match and these colors match. Now I only have two pieces left on the white daisy. 
So now I move the cube, and hey, this is already solved because the orange centerpiece is matched with the white and orange edge piece. So now that it's uh, already solved, I can just move it down as well. Just the front top, just like that. Just this face, right? It was here, and now I'm gonna move it back. Now I have three edge pieces, almost done my cross, my white cross with all the colors matched. I have one more piece to go. I look for it right here, move the bottom two layers only, and there you go. These are matched. I just bring it down, and I have my white cross. This is a major step. It's very simple. Just take some time to learn it, and then you'll be on your way.